Leprosy is a very old disease and uh, now it has become relevant because of the recent surge in the leprosy infections in the India. So today we'll be speaking something about the leprosy. Myself, Dr. Minesh Mehta, I am a physician and critical care specialist at Shelby Hospital in Ahmedabad. So leprosy is a bacterial disease. It is basically a low-grade chronic infection caused by the bacteria known as Mycobacterium leprae. It usually affects all the ages, mainly children and adolescent. Leprosy, which was considered as a rare disease, and in 2005, India declared as a leprosy-free country. Now the survey which was conducted in 2019 and 20, it showed that India has more than one lakh of active leprosy cases which comprises almost more than 50% of total leprosy cases in the world. So again, leprosy has become relevant disease. The resurgence of leprosy probably is because of the lack of awareness on both the sides among the patients and probably a healthcare professionals also. Because once considered as a disease which is in extinct, now it has again research like tuberculosis so it is important to increase the awareness of the disease of the leprosy leprosy is basically transmitted by the droplet infections somebody who gets an infection whenever he speaks or sneezes and the other person if he comes in contact with that particular person for a prolonged period of time then he can get a leprosy. The bacteria which causes leprosy, it affects mainly skin, peripheral nerves, eyes and the upper respiratory tract, mainly nasal mucosa. The symptoms, they are, the classical symptoms are a hypopigmented skin patches with a loss of sensations. Many patients, they have a nodules over the skin, they have a leg or a foot ulcers. Many patients has bleeding from the nose. If a diagnose is very late, patient presents with a complication of the leprosy, like deformity of the limbs, loss of the fingers, or even loss of a vision also. Diagnosis of leprosy is mainly based on the symptoms and the skin manifestation of the disease. If we want to confirm the diagnosis, skin biopsy is the gold standard of confirming the disease. Yes, leprosy is 100% curable. The most important thing is early treatments. If patient takes Early treatments, then 6 to 12 months duration of multidrug therapy can cure the leprosy. The antibiotics which are used in the leprosy is rifampicin, Depson and clofazamine. They are given in combinations over a period of 6 to 12 months based on the severity of the disease. If you take this course in a proper manner, your disease will be cured. Prevention of leprosy is if somebody has got an active disease, you should keep yourself from a distance because as I said, the leprosy is spread by a droplets while sneezing or coughing. So if you keep a distance or somebody who has got a disease, if he takes early treatment, then he becomes asymptomatic. So most important thing in prevention of leprosy is early treatment diagnosis and while he is on treatment, you should keep some distance. Leprosy is contagious only if the person remains in a close contact 
with the infected person over a prolonged period of time. Brief contact or like handshaking, hugging, it will not transmit the disease. The disease is mainly transmitted by the droplets while coughing, sneezing, speaking and if that person remains in contact for a long period of time. Once patient gets infected, it takes almost 6 months to 20 years to manifest the disease. And that is how it is a very low grade and a chronic disease. We can prevent or we can reduce the spread of disease by isolating or by identifying the patient who has got an active disease and keeping them in a separations while preventing the close contact and giving them adequate course of antibiotics. Yes, people can live a normal life. The only important thing is the diagnosis should be early and he should take an adequate course of treatments. If it remains undiagnosed for a long period of time, many complications which are related to the leprosy, they will not be reversible. So once patient develops complication, it will be irreversible. Otherwise, if patient is diagnosed in the early phase and if patient takes adequate treatment, it is 100% curable.